Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about how to customize a report in Odoo 16 Studio module. So we have already discussed about how to customize an application in Odoo 16 Studio module. Hope you have watched that video. So we can see the customized app is currently available. So in order to generate report, just get into the module first and we have a toggle studio and you can just use that after that in order to generate the report just choose report tabs so that you will get a tab in order to create a new report click on create button so that you can choose the type of the report that you want to create so here we have three types that is external internal and blank so if you're choosing what external business header and footers will be available and if it's internal minimal header and footer will be available if it's blank, no header and photo will be there. So let me choose external as the uh, report. And here we can see different sections such as blocks, inline, table, column and all. So as you choose a report uh, template, uh, you can see you can see the uh, header. And that also shows the default company that we are in. And we can add different fields. So I need to add. The customer info so in order to add the customer info let me get a field which is text and you just drag and place it in the window after that you can select the window for making further changes and yeah let me edit the name of this text into customer customer info and yeah let me uh set its boldness and everything now you can also change the color or uh, then you can change uh, the length uh, if you want to make it bold you can do that if you want to make it italic or uh, if you want to underline that you can set that yeah, and you can also adjust the margins, width and all. If you want to make it visible for a particular um, domain, you can set the domain by clicking Add Filters and set it as Contact or Customer from the list. So here we have, uh, yeah, different options. So let me choose Customers and set it as Is set. After that, you can save the domain. So we have saved the domain and I also need to add different things. So in order to add many fields, you just click on the add button. And in order to add the address of the customer, just drag and drop the address block so that uh, you can see, I mean, set the field that you want to get there. So I need to get customers right now. So choose that property and just confirm so that the available customer in that application will be currently visible over here so we have set the customer after that we need to get different uh, details and I also need to get uh, an inline text so in order to add the inline text let me choose the uh, text and place it here so if you want to make any addition in this text you can do so and uh, yeah let me remove this and let me set uh, the visible if condition as uh, the studio customers, which means I need to set a customer over there. Yeah, which is set here. So if you want to make it only visible for a particular uh, category, you can do so by choosing the category from here, which means you can set the axis right. And I need to add a table right now. Now, if you want to add many details, uh, you can add that with the data table support. Uh, so just drag that field over here. Now you need to set the uh, related field for that. We have to add a mini to mini field first. So let me uh, set the mini to mini field and you can see the name and the reason of uh, the subject that we have given for uh, product warranty so that's shown here now if you want to add more column you can add that just drag and place so i need to uh, place a serial number for this um now let me set uh, the sequence 
and you can confirm uh, so that we can set the sequence here and uh, now I also need to get another field in order to set the priority so let's back to the add field and yeah let me uh, just give the priority of the field you can save this and you can set the priority uh, if it's if the priority uh, is given in the field you can you will get the priority and you also need to get the details of the product which is under warranty so I need to add the product so I can add the product over here after that just confirm it which is pretty cool right easy to create the uh, report now after everything we have given every value that us that we want to print in uh, the report after that you just close the customization from the uh, studio module and just go back to the uh, yeah just go back to the warranty and you can set the priority and all uh, now let me save all the changes manually and when you click on print here we can see print warranty so before that you have to keep in mind that uh, yeah just go to the report and you can choose a report that we have created when you move to the reporting here you need to make sure that you have enabled this field in order to add the report under the print menu then only you will get this and we can also use paper formats we have different paper formats such as a4 us letters us batch deposit a4 label sheet Dymo label sheet, US check letters, survey certifications, and so on. And let me uh, choose by default as US letters. And if you want to limit visibility to a certain group, you can do so. And just get out from this window and back uh, to here itself. And let's print the report. Yeah, now we have printed the report, and you can see the result. Finally, we have set the priority and everything is shown here. So this feature is pretty cool because we can customize the report within few minutes. So hope this concept is clear for you. Thank you for watching the video.